YouTube, Demon Slayer X8 here, and I am here with a Smash Bros. for Wii U model importing tutorial for Smash Bros. Brawl. Anyways, for this tutorial, I'm going to be updating a model for Palatina's Temple, but just to give you an idea on how model importing for Smash U is. Anyways, as you can see, well, pretty much, gonna be fixing the cloud model, or clouds. As you can see, it doesn't really look properly. Well, that's because I've done some mistakes. Pretty much, uh, I'm pretty much on almost every stage until I got to Midgar, and that is pretty much when I noticed my mistake for mostly every single import I've done. I'm ashamed of myself, honestly, for not noticing that till now. Well, after doing Midgar, pretty much, yeah. Anyways, we're going to be updating this model and probably others, especially this one. This one could use an update. As you can see that these alpha channels are not blending into the rest of the model. So that's also going to be fixed. But not in this video, no. Anyways, to start off, you need pretty much the files for the stages or characters or items or assist trophies or I whatever you need the files which you can easily find pretty much in uh, smash you thread on VG resources and I have that listed in the description down below and along with the script to import the models Back before I noticed all my errors, I was mostly, I was actually doing all of them with multiply vertex colors. Turns out, that is not even needed. That was just my dumb foolish, foolishness on uh, when I was doing uh, Kalos League Omega and Coliseum Omega. I thought that these values were not even spot on and were just and were just divided by two. Turns out I was completely wrong. <laughs> so Landon T Bush, if you see this video, you can update your script and have that this taken out. Please. <laughs> you can Remove it. Anyways, import your model. Ignore the photos that's on my desktop. Let's go to Nintendo Whips, Review, Smash U, Stages, Melee, Palatina's Temple, Static Cloud Set and model.nerd yes these models are in dot nerd format while the textures are all stored in the dot nut format please don't make any jokes about that that's just Namco's Bandai's texture format for pretty much any fighting game but well, for most of them but some most uh, Namco formats are pretty much in a well, I don't remember the format. Anyways, we'll get to extracting the textures in a bit. Actually, let's do that right now. For that, I'm gonna need quick BMS and Super Smash Bros. U Texture Unpacker, or pretty much this. 
Use that. Select the .NET file. And then choose the same folder to save the extracted files, which would be in a .gtx format. And then you want to convert these .gtx formats into a DDS format. And you're going to use uh, GTX to DDS converter, which will also be listed in the description below. And now you want to convert these DDS files into PNG. Uh, ignore that. And now we can go with importing the model. Now, as you may have noticed, the model is on its facing up on its Z axis. That is because Smash U is now converting its Y axis as its Z axis. And if you press F11, you can get the material data, which is all located here. Export the model as a DAE. Uh, I should have got myself prepared for this. Instead, it just jumped right on in and did it. Export as DAE. But with these, you want to change the settings from Y up to Z up. Import model. Keep these settings. Of course, with these materials, you would have you would want to have them set as false for material, for remap materials, because each because ma each material has different values for its diffuse color, or texture scale and position, so it's best to keep it as false. Now, let's do these materials. Okay, diffuse is all solid, solid, light.
so I just enjoy having music going when I'm doing this. Six. I've already had the fogs with fog data already set up. Which is pretty much this. Okay, material, what I do with it. For the color sampler UV, that is pretty much, uh, pretty much the UV position, and these are the position, right now, that's the scale, and these are the positions. Zero zero, uh, negative zero point zero two, pretty much for both of these. The reason why there's a second one is because of the layer two object. I'm kind of just going through this as just as part of it. This whole this model will be updated with this object combined into this one, aka its UV layer. This one with that one. But pretty much, actually, that UV layer would be part of this one. With this one, with this mesh object out of the picture. That doesn't seem right. Oh, what? Well, yep. That seems pretty much right about spot on. Yep. And now let's see how it looks. Well, could use some more fixing, but that is just limited to ball. So I had some coffee. Anyways, ball is pretty much unable to blend out the channels that properly due to its engine, which is pretty much the downside. But no way out of it. But yes, all of these models will be getting re-imported with the proper colors and stuff. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, any questions? Just leave any in the comment and I'll get to it whenever I can. Demon Solo X8 and I am out.